Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting and bringing to episodes 13 to 15 of Bakuman. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 and 3, 2, 1, go. Have me take my glasses off. Second. Oh my god. Just remember, I still love, she fucking love, oh my god, like, dude, I can't. That's how you know you've truly won. Guy, girl, whoever, if your significant other says they will wait for you forever for you, that's it, they the one, no matter what. You, <laughs> you could be like here. You could be like stay here. But like, when's the next time you leaving? Okay, you know what? You stay here. I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go get you something, and you better come the fuck back with a mother effing promise ring, and be like, here is our promise right now, right here, that one day I will turn this into an engagement ring. My hopeless romantic eyes right now. I can't. I can't. Oh, God. But my babies need to get that shit for next. And they need to just. Ooh. I need them to beat fucking AG so bad. Like, please. As much as, like. Because I think right now I'm having, like, a love hate relationship. Mm, no, hate's such a strong word. Love dislike relationship with AG. Even though, like. Unless we get a whole episode about him and his backstory and everything, then I might, you know, turn around on him. I don't know yet. <laughs> Is that Kaya? <laughs> but what if it's Kaya? <laughs> Watch out. I mean, since you have her, you could have just emailed her and said, hey, you know, it's me. And put your name so that she knows that it's you. She's right. So But is it good enough though? <gasps> oh thank God. Oh, I need a drink and not no sparkling water. Yeah, babies do kind of need some sleep.
Yeah, they should. I mean, they're of eight. Seriously? Why don't you just start with how are you? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. It, it really truly is. Please start over. <laughs> You really typed all that much? Oh my god. What all did you write? You know, you could just send her another one. Oh. Did you reply already? Now, unless you guys are arguing, then yes, you have a right to think about it as long as you want. <laughs> you are not going to get sleep. <laughs> oh, she adorable. We'll see about that. I'm sorry, I'm so cold right now. <laughs> mm, yeah. Like Aki Shittle?
Well, damn, that was quick. Well, yeah. Oh my god, because we're girls, we're not gonna write a long ass text message. Now, unless we're angry at you, I'm just saying. Really? And that's okay. Don't be, uh, like, defensive about it or anything. If you think it is, then it is.
Yeah. But just remain positive. Well, damn, that reminds me of Persona 5. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God, what is it, Chiquito? And she's like, hey, you know. You never know, it is possible for them. <laughs> there we go, that's better.
Glad that you got third. So, but you should still try. I wasn't expecting him to rip it up, but like, <laughs> at the same time, it kind of was. Okay, here's my thing. The fact that they made third is good. Don't get me wrong, because I mean, like, going back to last week, like, in, like, mm, that hope. <laughs> but oh my god, like, but still, it don't fucking AG beat them. Boy, like <laughs> he just he goes through, he flies through, and it's just like, oh, this shit is just good. I'm like, fuck. Oh god, mm. it's like you know. Okay, how can I compare this to something? It's almost like you know how like when you do like you think you do an amazing job on a project, and then someone is half ass, and then you you get like a C or a B. And they get an A plus. Keep it like, what? Been like, so you telling me my work, the project that I spent umpteen hours on, is a B, and the person who did a half ass job maybe only spent about a good hour, maybe two, on their project got an A plus. That's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense for these two to, um, well, not two, <laughs> three, <laughs> there we go, Deja, three, for them to finally meet, but, because, like, at first I was thinking they were all going to go to the same high school, and that's how they were going to meet, but no. Um, for the preview, it also looks like Kaya is about to kick some ass, and you know what, I am okay for that, but, you know, we ain't going to know until we see, but, of course, I have to pause, and... I gotta wait for a few because I can't watch the next episode, which sucks, but yes. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second <laughs> for episode 14. Okay, episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go.
If you say so. Damn. Oh. <laughs> I mean, well, that just tells you how dedicated he is, but like, damn. Well, yeah! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's pretty stressful, you know.
Maybe she's just like you. She doesn't want to tell you bad news all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or by friends or family. I know I would. You know, I mean, I get that, yes, as someone who also has one, too. But sometimes it's not. I mean, damn. Huh. He is so not answering. Of course, you're going to have to go to him. Uh, if he was my client, I need a drink every night because, woo!
Damn. I know, right? Yeah, I mean... Exactly. <laughs> well, 
Go home, I guess. so bad for him. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Well, then change it. You should have time, right? Where'd go? Oh, fuck. You don't keep an eye on him for five minutes! <laughs> oh. Well, at least you like it. I wasn't expecting you to do what you just did right now, but okay. Oh God. The fact that he drew that so fucking quick. Oh my god. Seriously? It's probably only been like three minutes!
Okay. Well, we both know he's not stepping down. I mean, come on now. But, uh, oh. AG! AG! AG, what the fuck? What the fuck? I can't. I don't know. AG just walks up to the table like it's nobody fucking business. And he's like, and I, oh. He's like. Oh! <laughs> Are we serious? Oh my god! Boy! You know what? Oh god, we, we, you know, once again, we're gonna compare this to Death Note of Christ. Okay, so you know, remember how when, like, you know, Miyazaki and, like, first met? Oh, oh god, it was like that! But, like, oh! My god, like, you could just feel the tension, especially like, the witch channel, and Akito looked at him like, this mofo right here, <laughs> you want to be friends? And like, no, oh my god, how, oh, what the hell, you, you know what, I, I mean, I understand, because yes, AG doesn't have friends around his age. And I get it. You, you want to be friends with people who make manga just as much as you, but... <laughs> oh, okay. How should I wear this? Sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> but sometimes. Um... Being friends with some people in the exact same industry as you, it, it's sometimes either a blessing and a curse at the same time. Because the fact is, yes, you get to cheer each other both on, but at the same time, you're going to have your editors, your other compare um competitors, your editors and chiefs, um, higher ups, this is that and the thirds, are always going to compare you against each other. And sometimes people don't really want that. I, I mean, once again, like, AG is on a very different level as these two. But, I, I mean, I'm hoping and praying that one day, one day they'll get there. They got a half a year. Six months. Can they really do this in six months? Like, oh god. I don't know if they can. This is like, oh my god, I'm getting feels of when, like, when I started YouTube the very first fucking time in 2016, and I was thinking it was gonna be fucking easy for me to get a like my first 100 subscribers. No, do you know how hard that shit is? Oh my god, like, I I think like I was very close, or I was maybe like almost halfway. And it got really, really tough. And, and I think at that time I was just watching, reacting to three shows and such. I, I really, no, before that I was only doing two. And then eventually I did Yuri on Ice as my third. And it was really fucking hard. I think by the time we got to uh, either winter 2017 or spring 2017, I think I officially, yeah, either by, either by the end of, of fall 2016... Going into winter 2017 or spring 2017, I finally got to my 100 subscribers. And then after that, it just felt like a breeze and such. And that's kind of when you know, like, okay, you just really have to be yourself. But every single time when, you know, they're you know, just going to hot city and being like, is this good? Is this good? Is this good? Is this good? It's a gamble every single day. Just like me as a fucking YouTuber reacting to, like, any show, like, I... When I look at a fucking list of shows that I want to watch, every single show that I'm looking at and at making my roster of like 6 to 10 to maybe even 13 shows, you don't know how many of those of your audience are going to love and the ones that they're not going to love and such. So no matter how many times you watch something, it is a fucking gamble. You don't know how everything is going to end up by the beginning by the first week of a season towards the end of a season and such. Like, how? For an example, like, okay, mm, I didn't think, like, Kimono Friends or Kobayashi, when I reacted to those in 2017, would have been one of the two 
three, one of the several best shows of my channels. Now, coming into 2021, I think the, like, probably, mm, God, the only thing I could really say, looking at everything now, probably has to be Demon Slayer. I, I don't know. I can't, I would literally have to think back to everything that I've done and reacted to and such. Because, once again, it is a fucking gamble because you don't know how many views you're going to get, um within a video there there are shows where like okay my like my smallest amount of views that i've gotten for a show as of now is the um the aqua trope and white sand that is the small i've gotten like under a hundred for that and that's only because yeah number one a lot of people are going to want to like look for the actual episode a lot of people don't want to see people's reactions on it they just want the fucking episode and because the the series is such a underrated show um there's not going to be a lot of people watching it as much as something as like maybe my hero even though there's a, there's a lot of situations going on with my hero anime that <laughs> I, i've talked about several fucking times and <laughs> i'm gonna talk about it again when this season ends um god and a couple other things. I'm trying to think, like, because, yeah, because Aqua Trump, in my opinion, is very much, like, the, not the sleeper hit up. Well, yeah, in a way it is, because it, it's very underrated, and I really suggest it to anyone. But, yeah, it, it, like I said, it's a fucking gamble every single damn day. You never know what the hell is going to happen. Especially if it's something where, like, you watch the first season and you get, like, over thousands and thousands and thousands of views. And then you get to season two of that show, and you get half of the views that you got from season one and you're sitting here every single fucking week questioning what the fuck did I do between season one to season two to get this and such and there's so it this happens to me almost every fucking day so <laughs> no matter what a motherfucking gamble at the end of the day but god and pot's video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 15 okay final episode in three two one go is it about the rain where's my phone i swear to fucking god if it's about to rain shit <laughs> florida No, it's in my hair. <laughs> Don't get in my hair. Don't get in my hair. What? Mm -hmm. That is what it is. It's still fucked up, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Exactly. Yeah. It is a oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, which is fucking nuts. Like, how the fuck can you do that? I mean... Please don't rain, please. Wait until I finish and everything edits, please. I know because you know what? No offense, you are a little too overconfident. So you know, kind of tone that shit down. Uh... 
What's up? I think so, too. <laughs> Honestly, I think so. What's up? Ones.
Poor baby. Probably. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> yeah, because the last date they went on was the Christmas day. I mean, oh. And if you don't want to do it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kaya.
Honestly, me too, because I have been wanting for you to the meme for the longest time. That's okay. So... means you've both accomplished like just a teeny bit of your goal so just be proud about that Yeah. Aww. Of course, everyone's impatient, but it takes time. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Patty. <laughs> but it's cute. It's just love. moment she possibly was going to bomb the audition and just uh but I think she needed that little oomph that little boo something to just like okay I got this I can do this I'm gonna pause I'm gonna ace it I'm gonna get this damn roll like oh my god like just hearing her sing just a little teeny tiny boo like oh it's a fucking baby like oh my god see now I'm kind of hoping <laughs> If this happens, I, I will. I will. I will be done. I was, oh my god! If my favorite Seiyu sings a song in this series, that's it. This will be down. Mark down. 
best fucking show that I've reacted to as a Patreon. I mean, oh my god, because like everybody knows number one because I do love the shit out of her voice, and plus when she sings, like <laughs> I can't. Like she makes me cry. Like I thought, what's that? I got to make me cry. No, like no. Oh. No. Kaya. <laughs> uh, once again, Kaya is so fucking precious. I mean, okay. Kaya's dream, I, I hope we do get something of it. I mean, I, I know she wants something just as much as everybody else because it, it's like, okay, right now she's trying to, she's like, okay, you know how you have like one of those friends who, you know, everyone else all has their dream and what they want to do for the rest of their life. And that one person essentially doesn't know what they want to do for the rest of their life. We've all kind of been there where even in our like teens to early 20s to late 20s sometimes we have that moment where it's like am I doing what I really want to do for the rest of my life and then sometimes you have like that weird epiphany and you're like I, I want to do something else and it's like that. Um, she's still trying to find hers and I hope she does. I mean with however long that this series is like 75 but yeah 75 um, I hope she finds it. That's the biggest thing. But, like, oh, God. She's gonna find it. Watch. Next week between episodes 16, 17, and 18, she's gonna find it. And she's going to just go head in straight first. She's gonna kick some ass. And it's gonna be so good. Precious baby girl. Like, oh, my God. Like, huh, goddamn, these three episodes, I can't. <laughs> Like, oh my god, but yes, I am also glad that, you know, those two officially finally met AG because it was something that I had been wanting for, like, <sighs> since episode four. AG made an appearance, AG makes an appearance between two, three, and four. Five, because I'm going through this, I'm going to forget sometimes. But once we, we officially saw him, I was like, okay, now I need y'all to meet up to kind of see and almost compare and contrast between the two. And now that it's finally happened, they can not really start over on a new foot, but continue their journey to see wherever it's going to lead them next. But like, oh, I, just, I hope this is the right step for them. It seems like it is, but we, uh, not we. I, <laughs> me, I don't know what's going to happen next. Only the people who's already, like, seen this damn series. So, you know, as much as I would love to see some spoilers or something, I don't want to know anything no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episodes 13 to 15 of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 16 to 18. Bye, guys.